it's February 9th. It's uh, work day for Lord Admiral. And the first thing we're doing this morning is checking his height. We haven't measured him in a couple of months. Now he's barefoot. We could add at least another quarter inch, more like a half inch if he had shoes on, but he's barefoot. And as you can see here, he is 66 and three quarters of an inch tall. So that comes out to 16 hands, two inches, and three quarters of an inch. 16, two, and three quarters is what we say. And here's the math if you want to work it out. Today, Lord Admiral will work three quarters of a mile, that's six furlongs, and the speed will be intermediate between a gallop and an all out breeze. He'll be working just hard enough to cross that threshold from aerobic work to anaerobic work, but just barely. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh. Okay, so you wanna. Lord Admiral is going to jog up the stretch here and head into the turn. And as he exits the turn, he'll begin his work. Lord Admiral is going to switch from a trot to a canter here. Just a moment. And now you see his head bobbing. Very different gait. Here is the trot where you have the left front and right hind on the ground at the same time and the right front and left hind at the same time on the ground. In this still, you can see the left front right hind on the ground and the left hind right front in the air. So there's always two feet bearing weight, not just one. Now he breaks into a canter. You can see three feet in the air, one foot on the ground in this picture. There are three beats to this gait left hind on the ground, then two feet on the ground, left front, right hind, then one foot on the ground, the right front. And you can see as he completes the stride, all three beats, he's briefly in the air, all four feet off the ground at one time. When you see the horses warming up before a race after the post parade, you'll see some of the horses jogging, some cantering, some actually doing a slow gallop. I hope these videos will give you a little better idea of what those horses are doing when they're warming up. There's the green and white eighth pole. We've got an eighth of a mile before Lord Admiral begins his work. He'll start to pick up the pace, throws his head when he sees the other horse going by. He's getting a little ticked off and wants to get rolling. There's a sixteenth of a mile to go after that black and white pole. Starting to pick up the pace. Picks up his head, sticks his nose out. There's the red and white three-quarter pole. We've got three-quarters of a mile to go. Lord Admiral gets a little over enthusiastic at the start of these works, so he's going about 35 miles per hour here, but it'll take just a little bit further and Martin will start to slow him down. In fact, he's already starting to slow down and smooth out his speed. So we had a really nice work here. So I'll let you just watch him go for the rest of this work. it right there. Lord Admiral just made his lead change. This is something Lord Admiral does on his own. He does it quite naturally and it's important because he gives some of the muscles in his front quarters a rest and the other muscles on the other side of his body will take over and do a little more work. His feet have been hitting the ground left right left right but all of a sudden we have left right left right left left and he has switched leads.
Most horsemen believe that a horse that fails to switch leads in the stretch will tire prematurely and that could cost a horse the race. Lord Admiral approaches the finish line here. Nice strong finish. Martin had nothing but good things to say about the way he uh, completed this work. And as you can see, we just passed the finish line. And watch Martin's feet as we circle the turn here. You'll see Martin push his heels down, his feet go forward, and he leans his shoulders back. What he's doing is literally applying the brakes. He's pulling up back on the horse to slow him down. The work is over. In fact, it's long over, but as you can see, Martin's got the horse's chin pulled down. He's got his feet forward. He's leaning back. He's got to pull the horse up. This horse isn't tired out and wanting to quit. He wants to go on. That's a good sign. And by the way, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe this gray horse right here with the uh, Baffert colors on the saddlecloth is Arrowgate. So we had a little uh, elite company during our workout today. But back to Lord Admiral, we had a really good workout today. It was uh, not too much. It was enough to move him forward in his conditioning and preparation for his next race. And uh, we will go a little shorter distance, but a lot faster in his next workout in a few days. And the exact day of that will depend on the weather. We're expecting rain, so we want to wait that out and make sure we've got good track condition, uh, good safe surface for Lord Admiral to work on. So we'll be reporting back to you when we do our next work. And thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't. And good luck at the races.